Hey, this is David Avery, and I do not know the difference between a Google Chrome app and a Google Chrome extension, but that doesn't matter. Uh, today, we're going to go over um, Google Chrome Read and Write, and also I'm using Screencastify to capture this. Read and Write is free uh, for teachers. Here's the toolbar right here. Uh, free to teachers now, and it has uh, several options, and I'll go over a few of them. Uh, one of them, I uh, will use the highlighter to highlight this uh, online article on space.com. Uh, you simply choose the color of the highlighter uh, and choose a different color for different options, maybe vocabulary or main ideas, that sort of thing. And um, later on, when you click on collect your highlights, uh, it'll collect them all into a Google Doc in your drive uh, with the highlighted colors sorted that way. And um, you can use it any way you wish. It's kind of interesting. And, of course, you can also clear your highlights. Next thing we'll look at is let's use the um, let's use the reader. The reader option, I've got it set up in uh, English and uh, on fast, but you can change it to another, another language and another speed and also another speaker to sound different. In fact, you can choose an Australian speaker if you like. So here's the uh, reader. NASA released today, July 20th, the first image of the sunlit side of Earth. Taken by the Deep Space Climate Observatory DSCOVR spacecraft from its final science orbit, and the beautiful photo has already made quite an impact. You can also choose the option that says hover speech, and it'll read the paragraph I believe that you hover over. You just have to remember to stop it. A beautiful reminder that we need to protect the only planet we have, President Barack Obama said today via his official Twitter account, at POTUS. Amazing images of Earth from space. Some other features, uh, there's a dictionary, there's a picture dictionary, which may be better for younger kids, but there's your picture dictionary, you choose the word Earth. Um, there's also... You can select, see, geomagnetic. You can select dictionary. And a word is either in there or you'll see a no match was found for this word. I'll try another one. Imaging dictionary. And there you have a couple of uh, dictionary entries. So we've gone over the dictionary entries, the um, the play and speak features. Uh, there's also a a Google basically fact finder, which is basically click on there and another page, a tab opens with um, a Google search page that'll have the discover there. Um, Translator is a really great uh, feature. We'll choose a word here, say infrastructure. And I've got it set on Spanish for now, and I click on Translate. And the word will come out there. You can click on it, and it will read it. Okay, that is Google Read and Write Chrome extension um, filmed by Screencastify. And your homework today is to figure out what a app is, a Google Chrome app, compared to a Google Chrome extension, because I probably won't do the homework. So let me know tomorrow. All right, thanks.